When Apple first entered the streaming market with the original Apple TV, few would have predicted that it would become such a central piece of the company's ecosystem strategy. Over the years, the device has shifted from being a hobby to a polished, premium streaming box that ties together Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, HomeKit, and even gaming through Apple Arcade. Today, Apple TV 4K is considered one of the most powerful streamers available, consistently praised for its speed, fluid tvOS software, Dolby Vision support, and deep integration with Apple services. Yet, it has also faced criticism. The price remains steep compared to rivals from Roku, Google, and Amazon, and hardware changes have often been incremental rather than groundbreaking. Now, in 2025, attention is turning to the rumored next-generation Apple TV 4K, expected to arrive later this year. Possibly alongside the iPhone 17 lineup, the new model could represent Apple's most ambitious attempt yet to redefine what a streaming device can be. From in-house wireless chips and Wi-Fi 7 support to potential Apple intelligence integration, there's plenty to unpack in this deep dive We'll explore everything the rumors suggest about the upcoming Apple TV 4K, how it compares with past models, and why this upgrade could matter more for Apple's ecosystem than it does for the living room. A personal connection. Why Apple TV still matters before diving into specs and leaks. It's worth noting that Apple TV continues to inspire loyalty among many Apple users. For households already invested in iPhones, Macs, or HomePods, Apple TV often becomes the default streaming hub, even when cheaper options exist. Consider the case of people still using older models like the 2017 Apple TV 4K. Despite its age, tvOS runs remarkably smoothly, streaming apps launch quickly, and features like Dolby Vision keep the visual experience modern. Many users, like myself, continue to rely on these devices daily, sometimes replacing only the Siri remote rather than buying an entirely new unit. This longevity highlights one of Apple's strengths. Even when competitors undercut on price, Apple TV maintains its value through reliability, consistent updates, and integration with the broader Apple ecosystem. But with the rumored 2025 model, Apple may be ready to push things further, especially in areas like networking, smart home connectivity, and AI. The big rumor. Apple's first in-house wireless chip one of the most exciting reports about the 2025 Apple TV 4K is that it could debut Apple's first in-house Bluetooth and Wi-Fi chip. Why does this matter? Historically, Apple has relied on third-party wireless solutions. But as seen with the move to custom silicon in Macs and iPhones, Apple prefers vertical integration when possible. By designing its own wireless chips, Apple can optimize for stability, low latency, and energy efficiency in ways that competitors might not. For Apple TV, this could mean more reliable connections to HomePods and other AirPlay devices fewer. HomeKit dropouts, a long-standing frustration for people using third-party accessories, lower interference with other. Wi-Fi devices, a foundation for future smart home standards anyone who has struggled with no response, errors in the Apple Home app, whether with thermostats, lights, or sensors, will appreciate the potential stability this custom chip could bring. Wi-Fi 7. Support, future-proofing, the streamer. The next major networking upgrade is expected to be Wi-Fi 7. At first glance, this might sound unnecessary. After all, even Wi-Fi 6 is more than capable of handling 4K video streams, whether from Netflix, Apple TV+, or local Plex servers. But Wi-Fi 7 isn't just about raw speed, it's about capacity and efficiency. With peak theoretical speeds of up to 46 GBPs versus Wi-Fi 6's 9.6 GBPS, Wi-Fi 7 opens up massive bandwidth for homes filled with connected devices. It also enables 6 GHz connections, which reduce congestion and interference in crowded households. For Apple TV 4K owners, the benefits might include faster, smoother streaming when multiple 4K or even 8K TVs are connected, more stable performance for cloud gaming via Apple Arcade or third-party apps reduced latency for AirPlay mirroring or multi-room audio setups. In short, while Wi-Fi 7 may not transform day-to-day -day streaming immediately, it ensures the 2025 Apple TV 4K remains relevant for years to come. Processing power, the push toward Apple intelligence. Every Apple TV refresh brings a new chip, and 2025 will be no exception. The question is which processor Apple will choose.
Between 2021 and 2022, Apple jumped from the A12 Bionic to the A15 Bionic, a significant leap. If history repeats itself, the 2025 Apple TV could adopt the A18 chip, the same family expected to power the iPhone 17 series. Why is this important? Two reasons. Performance boost. An A18 chip would deliver noticeably faster UI navigation, app loading, and gaming performance. While the A15 in the 2022 Apple TV is still strong, the A18 would extend longevity. Apple Intelligence Compatibility Apple's new AI platform requires at least an A17 Pro chip. If Apple TV adopts the A18, it could finally bring AI-driven features to the living room, potentially voice-enhanced search, smarter content recommendations, or even real-time video enhancements. While Apple hasn't announced Apple Intelligence for tvOS 26 yet, this may be because the hardware isn't out. Expect more details once the 2025 device is revealed. Pricing. Will Apple finally go cheaper? Perhaps the biggest question hanging over the new Apple TV 4K is its price. Currently, the entry-level 2022 model costs $129, with an extra $20 required for thread and Ethernet support. That puts Apple TV firmly in the premium tier. Competing products from Google, Roku, and Amazon range between $3,100, often with features Apple charges extra for. Rumors suggest Apple may lower the cost of the 2025 model to better compete, especially as streaming boxes become commoditized. However, Apple has historically resisted price wars, instead positioning Apple TV as the best option rather than the cheapest. A potential middle ground could be keeping the Wi-Fi only version at 129 introducing a higher end model with AI, thread and more storage at 149 or 159 this way. Apple maintains its premium branding while still offering incremental value. Release date expectations based on Apple's patterns. The 2025 Apple TV 4K will likely debut during the September iPhone event. This has become the natural stage for announcing secondary devices like Apple Watch, iPad, and Apple TV. If announced then, shipping could begin within one to two weeks. Apple TV is not a headlining product, so the company tends to keep its launch timelines short. Still, Apple's main focus will always be the iPhone 17 lineup. With the Apple TV positioned as part of the broader ecosystem, that means marketing will emphasize how seamlessly it works with iPhones, iPads, HomePods, and Macs. Do you really need to upgrade? Here's the tricky part. Most Apple TVs since 2017 still perform exceptionally well. Thanks to tvOS, even older hardware feels fast and reliable. All the major streaming apps work smoothly, Dolby Vision remains supported, and Apple continues to provide updates long after initial release. Unless you specifically need HDR10+. Support. Available starting in 2022 Wi-Fi 7. Performance Apple Intelligence features, possible in 2025 models. The incentive to upgrade may be limited. Many people may find better value in hunting down a refurbished 2022 model, which will still run circles around most competitors. The 8K question, is it necessary? One feature often rumored but not guaranteed is 8K resolution support. At present, this feels more like a checkbox feature than a necessity. 8K TVs remain expensive, adoption rates are low, and the only reliable source of 8K content is YouTube. Streaming providers like Netflix and Disney Plus are still focused on perfecting 4K HDR delivery, and even physical media like Blu-ray hasn't embraced 8K. If Apple does add 8K, it will primarily be about future-proofing and matching competitors. But in reality, the combination of Dolby Vision HDR and Dolby Atmos Audio already delivers a premium home theater experience. Why this upgrade matters for Apple's strategy, the Apple TV 4K is not about dominating the streaming box market. It's about strengthening Apple's ecosystem lock-in. By offering a seamless hub for Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, Apple Music, Fitness Plus, and HomeKit, Apple ensures that households stay tied to its services. Features like iCloud photos on the big screen or spatial audio with AirPods simply work better on Apple TV than they do elsewhere. The rumored 2025 upgrades, custom wireless chips, Wi-Fi 7, A18 performance, and Apple intelligence aren't just about making movies look prettier. They're about reinforcing Apple's smart home ambitions, expanding AI into the living. Room ensuring Apple TV remains the premium choice for those already invested in iPhones and Macs final. Thoughts the 2025 Apple TV 4K may not 
reinvent the category overnight, but it represents an important step in Apple's long-term vision. With in-house wireless chips, Wi-Fi 7, and the potential for Apple intelligence, the device will likely be the smartest and most capable Apple TV ever released. The real question for buyers is whether the upgrade is worth it. For many, a refurbished 2022 model will still do the job flawlessly. But for those who want future-proof networking, AI integration, and the smoothest possible experience, waiting for the 2025 release could be the right move. At the end of the day, Apple TV remains less about the hardware itself and more about the role it plays in Apple's ecosystem. And in that regard, the 2025 model looks set to strengthen Apple's grip on the living room like never before.